And travel journalist Justin Walter joins us with some activities you do not have to go too far to enjoy. Good morning, hello, happy midday to you. Let's start with something sparkly, holiday lights. What spots do you recommend visiting? Yes, there are so many amazing, incredible holiday things to do right here in Los Angeles for Christmas lights. I recommend the LA Zoo Lights Animals A Glow exhibit. It is open now through January 7th from 6 to 10 p.m. at the LA Zoo. They have holiday themed sculptures, colorful light projections, interactive photo ops, so many things to do and explore there. They have a new winter wildlands and dazzling, dazzling desert scape area, live roaming entertainment. You can get hot cocoa, their famous churros, and even for adults 21 and older, there is a bar available so you can grab drinks. Nice. It's a lot of fun for families, for kids. And in addition to the LA Zoo Lights, another light exhibit is at Descanso Gardens in La Cañada Flintridge. That is also open through now until January 7th. Um, some of the highlights at La Cañada, they have a rose garden labyrinth and they have a glowing meadow grass installation that sways gracefully through, through the rose bushes. They have a stained glass house section with a charming village. And if you look at these lights, they're not just Christmas lights, they're art decorations, art installations, and they are incredibly beautiful to walk through the gardens of Descanso Garden or the LA Zoo. Both of them are beautiful. If you want something a little more moving and on the water, Marina Del Rey has a boat parade. It's the 61st annual Marina Del Rey Holiday Boat Parade. It is done by the nonprofit organization. It's on December 9th where you can go to Marina Del Rey. I highly recommend going to Fisherman's Village or Burton Chase Park. From 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Burton Chase Park has a lot of activities, great food, live music, games. At 5.55 p.m., there is a fireworks display, and then at 6 p.m., the boat parade goes through Marina Del Rey. The cost for this, it's free. Anyone can go enjoy it for free, and it's great fun for the entire family. Uh, all great ideas, and, and, and not to be lost in this since we're talking about boat parades. Don't yes. forget the oh, Newport Beach Newport. boat parades for those Down in Orange County. County. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, and especially with those restaurants being right there on the yes. water, you have to get those reservations in quickly. It may be a little tough now, but you could just walk right there on the boardwalk. They have beach, uh, bench areas, and people just grab a cocoa and a blanket and sit right there yeah. uh, on the Canary's bench. Canary's right there, right? Can I mean, so many uh, great places, so let's not forget okay. about the Newport was, Beach. Was that in uh, Arrested Development? Was that, like, the end scene where they go to the Newport. Oh, maybe. I, I believe you. I believe you're right about that. Boat parade. It's, it's iconic. It's been a while. We're lucky to have all these options, Justin. I mean, your choices are fantastic. We're lucky to have Seriously. so many. Yeah. All right, now, Justin, I know you uh, recommend a few experiences, including one we have to tell Chris about later. Yeah. So tell us about those. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys have seen Love Actually, right? The movie Love oh, Actually. Of course, Chris's yeah. favorite, which course, is why you bring him up. Of course, up. Love Actually. <laughs> it's a holiday staple. Well, there's a show called Love Actually Live in Beverly Hills at the Wallace. It's a first of its kind theatrical experience where it blends the movie and the film with live action on stage. It uses state of the art video design and award winning production. And the iconic scenes of the movie go hand in hand with the live singers and performers on stage. And it truly transports you into the movie, into that London setting. It's the 20th anniversary of the, the rom-com. So it's gonna be a special performance this year. They have a great cast, including stars like Grace Kinsler, Chris Mann, Drew Seeley, Cheyenne Wells, Rex Smith, Brian McKnight Jr. It's been going on since 2018. It's running now until December 30th. It's a great date night for, for someone who wants to take a date. It's good for families, it's good for friends. And it's, it's definitely one that I highly, highly recommend in Beverly Hills. Yeah, we, we actually did this. So we did, did this, we did this a couple years ago. My wife and I oh, went on a date. date. Yeah, and it was really neat I how they blend that. sort of like the movie at the top with the live action. Um, and it's a really cool twist yeah. on the movie. And it's, okay. it's great. So you so. Don't, that was going to be my question. I, I am one of the few that yeah. have not seen See the movie. Actually, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't sound like you really need to have seen the movie to follow this. No, not it at all. It runs the entire movie or clips? It's mostly like clips of the movie. The big moment. The as I remember. The ones. Um, but it was just, a, it was really a cool experience. Very different. And of yeah. course, it's in Beverly Hills. So you grab, you know, dinner at a restaurant. Yeah. I it's remember the restaurant night. I went to, I got the Justin Bieber pasta. Stop. Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it's like, a, I forget what this restaurant was. <laughs> 
Yeah, it probably had eggs in it or something. I, right? It was Wasn't definitely the, uh, it was good. The egg, yeah, you know. <laughs> so well, anyway. if you want a good if you want a good restaurant experience, there's a really cool one in Century City. It's called the Fairmont Swiss Chalet. Ooh. It's the second year they're doing it on top of the Fairmont Hotel in Century City. It's an opera ski dining experience where they really That's turn cool. the top of the rooftop into these cozy decorated Swiss chalets taking you into almost like you're in the Alps. They have chocolate fondue, braised cheek beef, roasted sunchokes. They have this cool display. Cozy. Obviously you get cozy in the booths and then you have this kind of three course meal. It's $105 per person. So a little bit expensive in terms of what you might think for a dinner, but it's not because you have this entire experience of this delicious meal and then coupled it with this decor that makes it such an incredible experience. And if, if you've ever gone to Europe, Glukfein, that warm wine that you get, they serve that as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a beautiful, beautiful dining experience that I would recommend. Go to this and then head over to Beverly Hills, go to Love Actually Live, and you have such a great little date night. And I, I, I love going to this. It's such a beautiful twist on kind of a dining experience outside here in Los Angeles. You know, it's interesting, Justin, when you're showing this, Rich and I are like, I mean, you could like, it, it's like, oh, this is going to be pricey. Yeah. You're going to throw it down. But quite honestly, if you're so into dining experiences and you know how much a dining experience can yeah. cost, I don't feel like $105 for those that are, are, are willing. That's in there. Sure. You know, that sounds yeah. like a great experience. Now, Chris, we're here. He would tell you about the French restaurant just down the road. <laughs> uh, the uh, Golden Corral. Corral. <laughs> yeah. Corral. Uh, maybe not All French, you can but, eat. Yeah. All you can eat buffet. That's uh, his deal. You kind of mentioned the, the movie theme the twist on things yeah. but you know a great thing about the holiday season is they'll bring back some of those oh, old man. holiday movies or some that are just you know whether it's you know family a christmas vacation or Home it could alone. be a christmas story i mean old or newer ones but oh, it, talking much older house well Home alone. i'm just saying die i mean hard. I listen <laughs> die hard is that a christmas I mean, movie well, it, some say it is chris will argue that yeah. it's definitely a christmas yeah. movie but it, now not only are they showing them but there's some really great places to experience it at the movie theaters yeah so there's a lot of movie experiences you can do throughout Los Angeles. You know, downtown, there's the Yuletide Cinema Land experience put on by the Street Food Cinema Organization, where it's in Heritage Square Museum, December 15th through, through December 23rd. You can tour Victorian homes, there's food trucks, and they're displaying movies outside, like Elf, Home Alone 1, Home Alone 2, Muppet Carol, all of those. Then you could go to Rooftop movie experiences. There's one Melrose Rooftop Cinema, which is in West Hollywood, and it's at the E&P and L&P rooftop off of La Cienega Boulevard. It's right in the center of Los Angeles, so you get a cool view of downtown, of Century City, of the west side, all from that West Hollywood rooftop. They're doing you know, movies such as The Grinch, The Holiday, Krampus, Gremlins, Polar Express, Really great if you're in like the West Hollywood area. And then if you wanna to go to other destinations, there's Rooftop Cinema Club, which have locations in downtown at the LA Arts District, uh, El Segundo, downtown LA. They have holiday programming as well um, throughout the entire Christmas season, such as Nightmare Before Christmas, The Greatest Showman, Polar Express, Harry Potter, It's a Wonderful Life. All of these locations, these rooftop cinemas or the, the downtown ones, they offer incredible movie experiences and I highly recommend going to them and especially the Rooftop Cinema Club their El Segundo and Arts District locations are closing this December but the downtown LA will be opening back up in the spring so I highly recommend checking out these movie experiences at one of these locations the rooftop thing that that's cool yeah. I have not done that I like how they give you the headphones because there's so, yes. so much street noise and then people around you so you could do that. Uh, maybe a silly question but for those that like myself the uninitiated do you bring your own blanket? It can get chilly up there, or oh, yeah. is that something they provide for you? Both. So I would recommend bringing your own blanket, but then if you do want one, they have blankets, and a lot of the, the, the rooftops will have a cozy setup where it's like a beanbag or a chair and a blanket and your silent disco headset where you're watching the movie on the headsets, and it's such an incredible, fun experience. And the views at all these locations are so fun to go to at night, so I highly recommend checking it out. Nice. I don't want to hear anyone say, right, there's nothing to do in uh, know, this right. holiday season. There's everything. <laughs> and as someone who's out there covering out in the field for all of these features, pop-ups, pop-ups galore mm. when it comes to L.A. for every holiday. And I don't think this holiday is any different, right? Yeah, pop-up bars are so much fun. I've got three really great, one for, great ones for you. One is Frosty's. Okay. Now, Frosty's is going to be off of Hollywood Boulevard at the Walk of Fame. They've done it in Chicago. They've done it in New York, and now they're bringing it 
to Los Angeles. It's going into this world of this Christmas extravaganza, holiday music, live DJs, Instagram worthy moments and, and setups where you have these huge oversized lights and live decor. Every corner is such a beautiful destination. They have theme nights where you can wear your favorite ugly sweater. There's December 7th where you can bring food and then get or clothing as a donation to then get free entry. Okay. They're also doing a huge New Year's Eve bash and it's off of Hollywood Boulevard and it's a really, really cool spot. I went to it in Chicago last year and had such a blast. There's also in downtown LA a pattern bar, Tinseltown. So the pattern bar is a, a well-known bar and they've truly taken it and turned it into this Tinseltown extravaganza. It's $22 per person, which includes a themed drink upon arrival. And it's a great way, there's Santa's elves, there's a ton of tinsel, obviously, festive tunes, warm drinks, and really a cool cocktail Christmas menu. So Tinseltown is another pop-up bar that they've transformed the entire pattern bar for Christmas. And then last but not least, Miracle at Neighbors in Playa Vista. This is located on, at the runway. It's in the Playa Vista area. These drinks look so delicious. They have a, a cocktail menu of all these festive holiday drinks. And it's really fun to go there from Fridays to Sundays. They have live music and it's a ton of fun. So I highly recommend any of these pop-up bars. You'll really get in the Christmas spirit and the holiday spirit. And there is so, so much to do here in Los Angeles. So have fun the next month, month and a half, enjoying all these mm -hmm. Christmas activities. Is that like Grinch Good margarita? Stuff. Yeah, that, that was... A Grinch teeny? Uh, I want to drink something out of one of those moose glasses that like they good. do in Christmas Vacation. <laughs> oh, you know? yes. if they, they have to have the Christmas Vacation bar somewhere. Yeah. That would be I'm kind of sure fun. But it is, it, uh, you gave us a lot of options, Justin. <laughs> uh, you can't say that you don't have options yeah, in this city. Nope, that exactly is for right. sure. All right, you can follow Justin's travels by visiting his website, justinwalter.com. You just picked up a new follower, Justin. I uh, followed you on Instagram. <laughs> nice. You can find him on Facebook as well. ATW Justin. We'll be right back.